Old school is back. Sonic is back. This isn't Sonic the Hedgehog. This is Night Trap on the Mega CD. Dave is back as well. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing well, but you've brought me back to play Night Trap. <laughs> mate, it's my favourite video game of all time. Do not take the pe Pez <laughs> out of this Hasbro production. Here we go, guys. So it's a James Riley you <laughs> For, for you guys watching this and you know nothing about Night Trap, let me just consult Wikipedia quickly. Night Trap is a 1992 interactive movie developed by Digital Pictures, published by Sega for the Sega CD. And it's basically, guys, an FMV game, okay? It tasks the player to observe teenage girls having a sleepover, <laughs> visiting, a <ha> visiting <laughs> a house which, unbeknownst to them, is infested with vampires <laughs> oh my go. god look at look at all of this cheese <laughs> oh my days i hope i don't get a copyright strike for this i don't think i will because it's not movie footage obviously it's a game it is and it's very very grainy mega cd quality in fact this is essentially what it would have looked like looked like if you had a mega cd or a sega cd back in the day me we haven't even discussed this before we, we hit record. Who's playing this, me or you? I don't know. I think you gave me the honours. Yes, you did. Because I press <laughs> start and I get the first scene. Now, you're going to say to me, how do, how do you play this? <laughs> yeah, I remember this. So, I, I played this, mate. I played this. I was telling you this the other day. on the um, Not on the first Mega CD, the second one, which sat next to the Mega Drive, if you remember that. Yes, I do. That's right. The Mega CD Model 2, which was designed for the Mega Drive That's tape. That's right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> now, basically, what I'm doing, Mike, is I'm cycling through CCTV cameras. This place is covered in... Look, there's someone there. But I... Ah, oh, my God, yeah. I've just lost him. I've just lost him. The point is there's traps that are set up in these rooms. And I've got a timer button press for the trap to go off, and then you'll see those those guys get basically defeated. Okay. But, yeah, this is the point of this see... game, as you can see. Yeah, this game spooked me a little bit when I was a kid. I gotta say, that guy creeping around there. It's something it's a very voyeuristic experience, this is. Yeah. But it's but, knowing what um, to do. It's knowing what to do was always my problem when I did play this. I find it so hard to know what buttons to press, which will make people laugh, I'm sure. Because I've got this button here that I'm pressing that's the C button. Can you see it saying access green? Access. Yeah, what does that mean? Exactly. What am I actually doing there? And then if I press A on another camera. <laughs> yeah, and then there's a staircase, or what? Okay. Ah, here we go. There we go. So is anything going to happen here, or are we just watching someone walk? Okay. I think we've got a, we got some vampire business going on, mate. I, I never knew they were vampires. I no, nor did I. Nor did I. I never knew that either, because they're funny-looking vampires. Oh, my God, it's Dana Plato. <laughs> <laughs> My God, this is so cheesy. That's the thing that I struggled with even as a kid. Is it, like, supposed to be a big parody? Or is it supposed to be very serious? Or, or what? It was just, like... I'm, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be parody. But it's also a little bit creepy. But as a video game, it's just not fun to play. No, it's not. It's really, really monotonous, and I honestly do not know. Oh, look! There we go. Right, so what do Here I do? Go, Dave. What do I do? What do I do? What I do don't I press? Know. I don't know. There's a couple of lurking... Are they supposed to be vampires, those <laughs> two guys? Because <laughs> they look like the, the wet bandits from Buddy Home Alone. Oh, look, hang on, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, what am I doing? There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, do something. I don't even know what I'm doing. Look, I'm pressing all the buttons known to man. Denied. See, Denied. you're having the issue with this game that I had as well, as a kid. Yeah. I just did not know what the hell I was doing with it. Exactly. I mean, that. toggling the camera is fine. I get that. It's just like, what then? Yeah, exactly. Because look, do you see these? these... <laughs> yeah, they, they, this is, it's just so weird and creepy as well, man. I honestly do not know what I'm supposed to be pressing. The C button cycling through various colours... But I don't know what Was to this do. the first of FMV style video gaming on the Mega CD? No, I don't think it was. I think there were a few others as well. Because we oh, had. Um, 
Oh, here we go. I Again, remember I, this. I can't. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Denied. See, I'm pressing buttons and I don't know what to do. It was such a limited idea as well, wasn't it? Because obviously it's always running. Yes. You can't. You know, it. This is it set in stone. These scenes will happen. Yeah. And that's what I didn't like about it. It's so limited, the, the stuff you could do with this kind of gaming. I wouldn't even say it was ahead of its time. I would just say it was just ambitious for the sake of being ambitious. I agree. This isn't video gaming to me. This is not gaming. No, it's not. And to answer your question, there was also, I'm not sure if it came before this, but Road Avenger on the Mega CD, which again was an FMV game where it was okay. playing video clips and you had to do button presses at the right time or else you, you saw the car crash. Um, also, we also Marky Mark. Yes, we've got to mention Marky Mark because that might be a future <laughs> video, a music will, yeah. video game, which again is just really super weird and isn't really a game, is it? You have to create a music video, basically, guys, for MTV. It might be, and uh, I think it was. That MTV. is actually <laughs> that is super cheese, but it is better than this. It's actually funny because at the end you get to see your music video. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a night trap, guys. There's not much else we can say about it. Let us know in the comments if you've got memories with this game. Like I say, it creeps me out, this game did, seeing those weird hunch, hunched-over vampires, apparently. Just <laughs> walk around that. <laughs> That's always looking for more content, guys. Hit this video up with a like, and we'll speak to you all soon. Take care.